What's up guys, Rob Shukrat with Resorm Fitness. This is going to be the third take. So far, so this will be, uh, I guess we'll call this a 50, what was that, honey, a 60 reps? What was it? Anyway, keep going, keep going. <laughs> People are used to it. Maybe it's super. Let me show you what's up here. I wasn't going to do editing and stuff, but I'm, I'll just go back to what I want to do. Just ramble on and on, but let me show you what I'm doing first. Alright, third sec, third take. Here we go. Work out my legs. Okay, just keep it going. It wasn't doing the choppy thing. No, you're no, good. All right, good. Okay, guys. Or. Dear, can you come over this way, please? So, I've already said this joke, but you guys haven't heard it. I should probably change Three Storm Fitness to the hammock strap channel. <laughs> because all I do is talk about hammock straps. So I think they're like the coolest thing in the world. I recommend you get a uh, set of them. I've seen them anywhere from like 15 bucks to uh, 35, 40 bucks. I don't know if it matters. I don't know much about hammock straps for their original intention, but I do know they're meant to hold a ton of weight. I think it's that, I think a thousand pounds each. As you can see, this here is not up on J hooks or anything. Plus, my, my wife, Lessa, she's like, wait, is that just hanging there? I'm like, yeah, baby, it's hammock straps. They say it hold a lot, and I love them because you got about three inch spacing here to do a whole number of uh, workouts. I did a video talking about the Henny system, how these are kind of like a poor man's version of that, if you don't want to spend the 180 bucks or whatever I'm running now. Um, so what I'm kind of trying to do is the holy grail for me over this quarantine period has been trying to figure out how to come real close to mimicking like a chest press machine. Like a, like a hammer strength, I realize hammer strength normally like ISO, but Nevertheless, that same sort of movement. So you can just go crazy without having to worry about, you know, form. <laughs> no, without, you know, killing yourself, essentially. Just a, it's just a straight line, basically. The problem with the Haney system, or, sorry, sorry, Mr. Haney. Problem with hammock straps. Haney system probably doesn't have this problem. But is that if you hang it down straight from the bar and you push off, I'm not a physics expert, but when you're pushing, it's very light here. It isn't until you get up to this, like, past 45 degrees that it starts, you know, gravity starts working its way into it as well. And then you got to fight against that. So, if I were to set this up, where the, where the straps, trust me, I know I've been screwing with this for a while, where the straps are coming down here, then if I'm pushing off, it basically ends up being just a pure tricep exercise and nothing more. There is a bit of a accommodating resistance where you're kind of working. Um, it's a little the strength curve changes if you if you don't know if you've read anything on that the physics behind it. But it doesn't change that much because the secret here is I'm starting. If you come over here, huh? mm -hmm. I'm starting from I don't know what this is. I don't have a protractor, but about 45 degrees. So I'm starting where I'm already fighting against gravity, right? Um, if you guys have used a hammock straps before, if you've watched this video and actually gone out and bought some, like if I were, if this was hanging down here and I would pull back, I could do it with my pinky. Here, I mean, I got 3 to 15 pounds on here. Um, it's not going anywhere. So it's a lot more true to like a, a the feel of like a machine press. And that's again what I was going for. Of course, you could use this with like a Swiss bar or anything else you have. I think it'd be really awesome with like a, uh, you know, like a Cambridge press. Um, Elite FTS has one. That's what, anyways. Um, so here's what I did. First, I sat down in my bench. I lined it up so that my chest was right up against where the bar would be. I just kind of took a best guess because then we're going to adjust, you know, adjust the seat. I recommend, this is by the way, is a uh, uh, freaking 
uh, Iron Master incline bench. I recommend any incline bench that preferably you can adjust the seat to if you're really into this because you're going to have to dial in. Like I said, you've got three inches of variability here, but um, if you want to kind of get in, uh, dial in a little bit more, then it'd be nice if you had a seat that adjusts. Not a deal breaker. I'll let you figure that out. Uh, again, this is like, I don't know what a new hammer strength machine cost, but this was... I already had the R4 and the barbells cheapo. Uh, I think I paid 15 bucks for the hammock straps. If you already have an incline bench, you're pretty much good to go. Um, I'll talk about this in a second. So, no, yeah, I'll talk about it now. What was I talking about? Lining up your chest with the Lining bar. Lining up the chest with the bar, yeah. So then when it comes down, kind of like setting up the bar with safety pins, right? With these guys. You want to get it so that when you're up on your, uh, on your tiptoes, so to speak, on your, on your shoulder blades, that you that you you press up against the bar, but when you relax, you get that gap so you can get out of it. So I get it right where I want it, and then I take bring these out taut and find out where that barbell needs to be, and I, I I put it in there. So what I'm going to do is write down exactly which hole it's on, so I don't have to screw with this every time. I'll just check my logbook. By the way, keep a logbook for anything in the gym. I'll check my logbook and see. Okay, this is on the tenth. This is, you know, this is a row bar four again, so it's going to vary a little bit on your depth. Um, but that's the beauty of these hammock straps. Once again, you you could do all sorts of things. I, I, I'm, I'm excited to keep messing with this. I'll continue to share it with you. So, line it up with that. Now, when I first started warming up, I was like, okay, well, I'll just start going. But then as you get heavier, you know, you run into the issue where you're going to blow your shoulders. I mean, you're not necessarily going to, but you, you increase the risk. So I don't like doing pen presses. I, I like to, um, you know, at least starting from the bottom, bottom of presses. I like to start from the, you know, uh, extended range of motion, break it down, get, just feel like I get set up better that way. So, you know, I could push this off and do it that way. But again, I'm just trying to be a little safer. So I just took this strap. This is a spuddy big race strap. You don't have to have something this sophisticated. You could just take uh, uh, probably like TRX or something. Those will hold, what, 600 pounds. You could do it any number of things. I did this with the uh, with the uh, Vortex uh, rigging strap or round sling, whatever it's called. I'll link to that. Um, but anyways, push it out. Just give yourself a little bit of extra. Uh, well, you know what this does. It's just You get your legs into it for that first rep. And let it go, all right? And do your thing. Comes down. Now watch. I relax. It's not. Um, this is 315. It's definitely lighter than like a true 315 if you're doing like a regular bench press. Easier, I should say. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I could probably bench 315 right now maybe five or six times. So this, I probably, if I just... Went for broke, I probably could have hit like, you know, maybe 10 ish. I don't know. Um, I'll, uh, but so it's not as heavy as a true 315 bench press, but you can certainly get a crazy pump going. Like I said, especially if you have some specialty barbells or something. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else. You know, when you take this off, um, you know, let's take it off now. Let me show you, show you what happens. Oh, oh, one more thing. That's pretty important. Come here, please. Once you get your bench set up, I got a rubber bumper plate here, a 10 pound rubber bumper plate with a weight on it. And that's just so when I'm getting in and out or when I'm really pushing off, I don't bring this thing back. So this sticks pretty well. That's, uh, you could use any number of weights, but I recommend that rubber because it has a little better grip to it, it doesn't slide. Um, yeah, let's take these uh, plates off. And I'll show you. Like I said, this is taut, so the thing, the weight shouldn't go anywhere. By the way, uh, my wife cleaned my gym, our gym, full bar yesterday. Doesn't it look wonderful? Go ahead, I need spin around. Everyone's sick now. <laughs> Probably, 
I mean, I just want to point it out. You can see it plainly, but I got these running to the outside. If they're running to the inside, then you got to curve out that way. So, run it out from the outside there. Now, I was messing around with like fly variations of this the other day. Um, and all sorts, of, all sorts of stuff. When you break, I really think this is gold. This is what kind of separates. I'm sorry if there's already other videos out there, but I think this is what separates like starting from this screw, screwed up, a screwed up strength curve basically is bringing it out and starting it from an angle that's difficult, right? Because I think what you could do now is I could run, I don't, I don't think this, I've done it, is I could run straps out from here and start doing variations like this, right? I can, I can use this whole thing as the weight. Um, row variations, fly variations, if you hook this like a strap, in fact I was doing this yesterday like this, this video is turning into something else now, but I'm excited. I haven't talked to anybody yet. Thanks. Been all corn, I got COVID. I don't anymore. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right, so you can do like this. I don't I can't remember how I did it. Oh, you know what? I had it started down low. But you get the picture, all right? I'll, I'll fill you in on more stuff. There's I'm sure a million things you can do on this. Just wanted to show you this one. Uh, how much time is that? 11.30. That's actually pretty good for me. Alright, if you guys have questions, let me know. Uh, I'll put a description to the hammock straps, or I'll put a link to the hammock straps in the description, and any other stuff that I talk about, because I'm sure you probably have some questions. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Rob Shoecraft, 3 Storm Fitness. Please subscribe to this channel. Please have a wonderful day.